Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of Eve University, and this is the University Overview Setup Guide. This video is intended specifically for members of, EV, of the Eve University Corporation. Uh, there's a lot of material to cover, so I will be moving quickly. Let's start by going to Neocom Browser, and in the address bar, first of all, stop loading whatever it is you're currently loading. Let's make this a little bit bigger. In the address bar, type in wiki.eveuniversity.org push return left click the search field type in overview guide push return scroll down a little bit and click on section 4 setting up your overview hit escape go to the shortcuts tab the window sub tab scroll down until you find open overview settings right click edit shortcut push the O button on your keyboard close the window. Left click on the station background once and push O. That opens the overview settings window. In, that can open it in space or in station, but this way you can do it in station so you don't have to go out into space. This is important if the university is already at war at the time that you are trying to set up your overview and you've got war targets in Aldrat local, so it's a bad idea for you to undock. Remember to participate in University P PvP fleets. Your overview must be set up to the university standards. So let's move this over to the side so it doesn't overlap the browser. First, set up your columns. Go to the Columns tab and make sure the following are checked on. Icon, Tag, Distance, Name, Type, Velocity, Corporation, and Alliance, and arrange them in that order and you can left click and drag an entry up or down to rearrange it. And that will change the order of the columns in your overview. The topmost entry in the list will be the leftmost column in your overview. So icon, tag, distance, name, type, velocity, corporation, and alliance. If you are a gunnery pilot or a tackler, you may also want angular velocity. Turn that on and put that underneath velocity, right above corporation. Setting up your ship mouse overs, go to the ships tab, turn on, make sh uh, ship type, pilot name, corp ticker, alliance ticker, and put them in that order. Ship, pilot, corp, alliance. Also hide the corp ticker if pilot is in an alliance. Go to the miscellaneous tab, turn on, move entities, move entries with broadcasts to the top. Go to the appearance tab, the color tag sub tab. All of these should be, you know what, let's make this window a little bit bigger. All of these should be checked on, except pilot has bounty on him, and arrange them in this order from top to bottom. At war with your corp, at war with your militia, in your fleet, in your corporation, in your alliance. Let's just get outlaw further down. In your fleet, in your corporation, in your alliance. Excellent standing good standing in your militia. Pilot is an outlaw. Terrible standing, bad standing, pilot has security status below zero. Neutral standing, no standing, agent is interactable, and bounty on him. And bounty on him should be off. Okay. Uh, right click on pilot is an outlaw make that orange. Make sure that use small color tags is turned off so you don't see an X in this box. Alright, uh, setting up backgrounds. Go to the background sub tab. Everything should be checked off except pilot is an outlaw and pilot is at war with your corp or alliance and arrange it in the following order at war with your corp at war with your militia in your fleet in your corporation in your alliance excellent standing good standing pilot is an outlaw no I'm sorry excellent standing good standing in your militia pilot is an outlaw terrible standing bad standing security status below zero pilot has a bounty on him no, I'm sorry. Terrible standing, bad standing, security status below zero. Neutral standing, no standing. Agent is interactable, and bounty on him is way at the bottom. Okay. 
uh, right click out wall and select toggle blink right click out wall again make that orange so the way and again just to review this at war of your corp alliance should be red pilot is an outlaw should be orange and that's for both the color tag and the background PvP presets let's go to the filters tab go to the state sub tab and make sure this is actually easier to explain everything will be checked on by default turn off uh, let's see turn off excellent standing good standing in your alliance in your corporation in your fleet agent is interactable everything else should be checked on go to the type sub tab click the deselect all button at the bottom of the window let me get that out of the way so the deselect all button at the bottom of the window right click on the ship's folder select all right click on the charge folder select all open the celestial folder turn on beacon covert beacon sun and warp gate close that folder go to the drone folder turn on fighter drone fighter bomber Go to the NPC folder, turn on Pirate NPC. And then save this as 1 PvP. So you left click the menu icon, save current type selection as 1 space dash space PvP. Push return. Next, the PvP with drones preset. Go to the menu icon, load 1 PvP. Go to Filters, Type Subtab, right click the Drone folder, select All. Menu icon, save this as 1A PvP and Drones. Push Return. Now for the travel preset, Menu icon, Load 1 PvP again. Go to Celestial, turn on Stargate and Wormhole. Go to Deployable, turn on Mobile Warp Disruptor. Go to Structure, turn on Jump Portal Array. And Menu Icon, save this as 2 PvP Travel. Push Return. Next, Menu Icon, Load 2 PvP Travel. Filters, States, Uncheck pilot has neutral standing and pilot has no standing. Menu icon, save this as 2A PVP no neutrals. Push OK. So PVP no new. Uh, I am skipping the missions preset. Next is the looting preset. Menu icon, load to PvP travel. Go to the state sub tab again. Uh, select everything except pilot is in your fleet. So you're turning on all of these things except pilot is in your fleet. Go to the type sub tab. Go to the celestial category. Turn on biomass, cargo container, and wreck. Menu icon, save as, 4 dash, looting. Push return. Pod saver. Let's go to the menu icon, load 1, PvP. Go to the types sub tab, deselect all. Go into celestial and check planet and sun. Some people like to go to the planetary interaction folder and also add customs offices. Some people will have that on their pod saver tab as well. It's debatable. Uh, but whether you have that on or off, uh, you should have planet and sun definitely. Uh, let's save this menu icon, 
save as five dash pod saver. Push OK. And I'm not going to cover how to use the pod saver tab. I don't have enough time. Uh, menu icon. Load to PVP travel. Go to filters states. Check everything except pilot is in your fleet. Go to the Type sub-tab, open Structures, turn on Control Tower. Go to the Celestial folder, turn on Force Field. Go to the Entity folder and turn on Destructible Sentry Gun. Menu icon, save as, 6-Wormhole. Fleet Members, Menu icon, Load one PVP. Let me make sure I did that. I may have missed. Load one PVP. Go to the state sub tab and select the following in addition to whatever is already turned on. So you're turning on excellent standing, good standing in your alliance, in your corp, in your fleet. Menu icon, save as, seven dash fleet mates. Push return. And that should set up your overview filters. Uh, you should read the rest of the overview guide article on your own, but this is most of what you need to do in in game to get your overview set up. Again, you can open your overview settings window from inside a station, and you might need to do that if it is currently if the university is currently at war and you have war targets in Aldrat local waiting to blast you to smithereens. Alright, in the meantime, thank you for watching.